Hey everybody, my name is Kevin Bosker. I'm Logan Dubel. And I'm Paulina Pearson. Tonight is one of the biggest nights in country music. And we're here with all the stars at the Moody Center. Tonight is the CMT Music Awards. <laughs> we're here. Beautiful light up there. Let's see what it's like out there. Ooh. Paulina. It's recording. It's, oh. it's oh, yeah. You ready? Yeah. Well, I'm with Texas Student Media. We are the UT Journalism Broadcast over here. Tell me, what is the fit? Tell me all the stuff you like about it. Oh, man. So I picked this whole outfit myself. I usually don't wear denim, but I said, we're going to do something different today. Akira. This is, this is all Akira. Love it. It looks fabulous. The boots, too. The boots are a great touch. Thank you so much. I had it. I wanted to do like some steel toe country, you know. Got to have the hat, the boots, all the fit. All of it got to be cohesive. How are you feeling about today? Um, it's a bit overwhelming, not going to lie. There's a <laughs> lot going on, um, but I'm just excited to be here. We're hoping to maybe do something fun for breakfast tomorrow. So I'll take any, any recommendations. I'm open. This is kind of basic, but I love Kirby Lane. It's like literally right next to the UT campus. It's Kirby so good. Lane, okay. Their pancakes are delicious. I go. recommend. Thank you so much for talking with us. We appreciate it. Okay, so you are from Denver. Mm. What's it like to be in Texas? It's great. Everything's bigger, as they say. Big old Texas flag by my hotel. The pride of Texas is unmatched. I really like that. It's really cool. Of course, and tell me a little bit, Austin is the live music capital of the world. Does it feel like it so far, and why are you excited to be here tonight? It does feel like it. Outside of my hotel room at like 11.30, they were playing La Bamba, and I was like, this is perfect. This is why I'm here. Um, this is incredible. The whole night, this is like what music should be is people getting together and celebrating each other. It's, we, we need a lot more of that. Got it. The red carpet. What's your thoughts being on the red carpet today? It is hot and steamy and it's like a war zone out here, but, but a beautiful war zone with glitter and, and uh, sequins. What is it like for you to be in Austin for the CMT Music Awards? It's it's a shell shock. I, it's, it's, I can't believe this is here because, you know, I, I grew up in Austin, so I, I always think of it as this tiny little sleepy town. To, to have something of this magnitude here, it's huge. I just saw Megan the Stallion um, posing behind me on the red carpet, and I was like, Whoa. It's, it's hard. It's, it's, I'm, I'm going to have to uh, process all this when I get home. But right now, it's just like, I'm just, my eyes are just full. There's so much cool stuff going on. What's like your biggest country star that you look up to? George Strait, for sure. Oh, he's also, I think he lives in San Antonio, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. Yeah. Absolutely. That's so awesome. So, yeah, what are you most excited for tonight? I'm excited to see Kane Brown perform. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Shania Twain get her much-deserved award. So I'm a big fan, by the way. <laughs> I appreciate that. Of course. Have a good night. My album's coming out too soon. Oh my gosh! I will definitely listen to that. You've come a long way. Big full circle moment for you from the America's Got Talent stage now to the Moody Center. How's it feel to be here and at the CMTs? Uh, it's pretty crazy. I'm trying to take it all in. Uh, it's just good to be home in Texas, you know? You, you, you guys can relate, man. It's just, when you're home in Texas, you just feel like a weight's off your shoulder. I mean, there's so much country music history here in Texas. I mean, you're right here in Austin, it's like Willie Nelson, you know? It's Willie Nelson, uh, Waylon Jennings, you had the outlaw, uh, the armadillo movement out here, and, and uh, country music story can't be told without, without mentioning Texas, so. The CMT Awards being in Austin for the first time ever. I mean, that's just crazy. It's always been in Nashville, you know. So, like, what is what are your thoughts on that? Do you feel like Austin is the music capital, live capital of music in the world? Ooh, that's a tough question. I am absolutely loving being in Austin. I think that Austin and Nashville are both such incredible music cities. So, for them to come together for this moment is really special. Do you have any tips for people who are in Austin that just want to explore the city in terms of music? Ooh, you know, we went by a place yesterday, I'm not going to get the name right, Guero's Taco Bar, G-U-E-R-O-S, and this guy was like shredding on the guitar at like 5 p.m., and I was like, I love it. I, you're making me hungry. I want some tacos. <laughs> I've been out here all day. The lights are like making me hungry. Like, it's time to eat. No, it's time to eat. I bet you're hungry too. What are you doing today? Doing so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. So are you from Texas at all or anything? No, I'm actually from Massachusetts. Live in Nashville. I've been there for about nine years now. So what are you most excited for tonight? Shania Twain. She's my favorite. I've loved her since I was about oh, this big yeah. and we share a birthday, oh. so she's my girl. Oh my gosh, wait, what is it? August 28th. So are you going to do any fun Austin activities while you're here? I think we're going to do a little exploring tomorrow, maybe find some barbecue and just do some sightseeing. So. Oh yeah, I recommend Black's Barbecue. Tell us what inspired the outfit for tonight. 
I was I was searching through Revolve. I was originally thinking black, and then I saw brown, and I was there like brown, subtle Texas energy matches with the teal carpet. Yeah. Awesome. And who are you most excited to see perform tonight? I think I'm most excited to see Gwen Stefani. I've never seen her in person, never seen her perform. She's iconic. Now, growing up as a kid, as an aspiring artist, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are trying to figure themselves out. If you have some advice for them, what would that be? That's a good question, man. Um, my number one piece of advice would be be patient. It takes a lot of bad songs to get to good songs. It takes a lot of writing things, um, writing things that might not end up being you as an artist to figure out who you are as an artist. You gotta, you gotta learn how to say things that, that you're like, okay, that's not me, to get to the things where you can write from a place where you go, this is undeniably who I am, what I wanna say, how I wanna say it. It's a process, and don't get frustrated or impatient with the process. Just tell me this is a really big year for you, so yeah. tell us a little bit about why you're excited to be here tonight. Well, it's all for me about uh, being part of the CMT Listen Up class of 2023. I, when I got the call that I got to be included, I was just blown away. And then when that meant I got to come to the award, and, you know, it's just snowballed into being here um, with all of you tonight. It's, it's been incredible. Awesome, and tell us a little bit about why it's so important that you get this spotlight in country music yeah. that a lot of other people don't get to see. I've been thinking about that particular question because, you know, there are so many people that could sing the roof off this place who will never get to be here. Uh, and so I'm hoping that by carving out my little spot, my lane, you know, I'm not trying to be like anybody else, I'm just trying to be myself, that um, it, it allows space for others to to obviously join in so how are y'all feeling about tonight are y'all excited we're feeling so good we're so excited to the be here it's so high For i real. mean you totally forget about the heat i'm living since we are a student television you know we have mostly college viewers if you could give um yourself your younger self one piece of advice what would it be study okay you're gonna want to have fun in school but also you have to study and make sure that you are getting the grades to be able to do what you need to do later on in life have fun party and and do your thing but enjoy yourselves okay and work really hard that'll so get you far true. i love that i feel that continue to be fabulous obviously you're doing the right thing by getting your education period but also just being really confident in who you are as a person where you came from um and who you aspire to be yeah okay so let's talk yellowstone okay, let's get into it. Nice photo. thank you very much um I think the biggest thing that people talk about with Yellowstone is just the fact that it has so many fans in these polarized times that we're living in. Yes. It's one of those shows that just feels Americana. It's everything that people want without getting into the thick of it. What does it mean to you in this day and age to be part of something like that? Oh my God. Uh, well, I for a long time, you know, there was a saying that like America with all of everything that was going on couldn't agree about anything except French fries and Dolly Parton. Um, and I love Dolly, that's why I have a Dolly tattoo. Yeah. But now I feel like it's French fries, Dolly Parton and Yellowstone. And, yes. I, and I am so privileged, I think, to be a part of a show like that because I, you know, I do believe it's important to reach across disagreements and party lines and all of this stuff and find where we have commonality and anything that can unite people makes me happy. Deciding now if we want to get food at the CMTs. Do we want to be on national television eating food, shoving fries in my face? That's the question. What are your thoughts? It's way too tight. Yes. Yeah, I think we, I think we have to. Cut, we're getting food.